If there's anywhere I would want to be during an earthquake, it's standing right where we are right now. Where we are is on top of this building. It's the first tower to go up of the one Rincon Hill condo project. At 641 feet, it's the tallest residential tower in San Francisco. And according to the architect, that alone works in its favor when the ground starts shaking. Inherently tall buildings handle earthquakes very well. But they aren't just relying on its size. They're using cutting edge seismic technology, some of which has never been used in this country. The, the main system that's used, I think we liken it to a downhill skier, where there's, there's some very big stout columns that are kind of like uh, your ski poles. And then there's the main concrete core, which is like your body. There's, there's two points up the building where there's braces, which are kind of like my arms to the ski pole, where those loads are transferred. And as you turn and you're skiing, you're leaning onto those ski poles. The building does the same thing in an earthquake event. This tower will be the tallest building in the world using these braces. They're also installing a tank here on the roof of the building that will hold up to 100,000 gallons of water. But it's not for swimming, it's to slow down the sway. When the building's going back and forth, the water's actually going in the opposite direction of the swing. And it has an effect of just creating some friction. It's running through some, some grating, and it, it slows that acceleration of the building down to the point that you won't really feel the change in direction. The weight of that water will also keep the strong Pacific winds from disturbing the residents, who in some cases are paying millions for their views. In San Francisco, Maureen Kelly, Cron 4 News.